Hello BMW riders, this is Al with Alice Morad and today we're changing oil and air filter on this 2014 wet head R1200 RT motorcycle. This is the air filter. Here's the uh, air filter number. And here's the oil filter that uh, I'm going to replace. For the new wet head model, BMW has redesigned oil filter 2. Uh, so basically this filter is for the older um, uh, boxer engines. This is um, high flow HF 164. It uh, has a little bit different pattern here. Uh, so you need to use a different tool to unscrew this filter. Uh, now for, for the wet heads, um, you need uh, you need a tool like this to um, to remove the filter and this is this is the old filter make sure once you remove the filter make sure you remove the gasket oil change on this motorcycle is a fairly easy task I already drained the oil there is a there's a drain plug right underneath the um, engine here uh, all you need to, uh, to have is the uh, wrench and uh, and the um, uh, hex uh, socket. Uh, here's the drain plug. Simply remove it, unscrew it. The oil is going to drain. You'll have to remove and replace the aluminum uh, crush washer. Here's the new crush washer. The oil has been drained already. Here's the uh, oil filter location. Right here on the side, unscrew it, drain the oil from the oil filter when installing a new filter. It's necessary to uh, wet the gasket with the uh, fresh oil or old oil, it doesn't matter, better use fresh oil. Use the tool. What I did here, uh, the plastic fairing here, I um, unscrewed one, uh, one screw here and it's kind of hanging here on the bungee cords, otherwise it's going to be in your way. It's recommended to tighten it by hand, so I'm going to use a, a torque wrench, it's 11 newton meters. Have my torque wrench, and that's it. Very easy, very light torque. On the right side of the motorcycle, there's a there's a fill hole here, and it uh, takes the same tool as previous models. So just simply uh, move the plastic a little bit up, unscrew it. Take it out before putting oil into the engine don't forget to put in the uh, oil drain plug with the new crush washer for this bike i'm using uh, the uh, royal purple uh, fully synthet synthetic oil it's the 1040 oil bmw i believe recommends castrol um, i believe any good quality synthetic oil is good mocho is good so let's fill the engine with the oil Make sure uh, when uh, filling up with uh, last liter of oil, make sure that uh, you uh, watch the, uh, the window and uh, make sure that you don't overfill. So the correct level should be between half and, and the top of the, of the uh, oil level window there. It's on the side of the motorcycle, it's right there. Make sure the oil gets into the um, oil filter and uh, after that you just run the bike uh, for a couple seconds and uh, that you top up after running the bike. Air filter replacement. Remove, remove the seat. It's a heated seat so there's a, there's a wire here. Disconnect the wire, put 
the seat aside. Use a T25, T25 torque to remove the screws. Remove the screws on the top. There's one more in here, inside here uh, in the middle. Remove the screws that are in the compartment and here. On the front of the bike, uh, you have to remove two screws that are right in here. There are, uh, there are some screws hidden inside. The fairing comes off. There are a couple clips here. Just simply comes off once you remove these two screws here. There's a, there's a screw here, one here, also one where uh, the uh, uh, oil filter is. I'm not going to remove that one, I don't need it, I just need to access the uh, air box. There's one here. Now there are, uh, there are a few screws hidden here. I want to remove this one here. There's one inside there. Actually, there's two inside there. Uh, there was one more here that I didn't remove, so I'm going to remove it here. There's one more in there. So the fairing comes off. Oh, there's a, there's actually two more here. Have to, it's not necessary actually to remove these because uh, I'm just uh, accessing the. I just want to access the the air box here. Just move it to the side like this, kind of spread it. Two more screws here. The center part comes off and out. Here we go. Put it aside. Now we have uh, acts as the air box. The same T25 for the air box screws, four screws. Lift the uh, lid up. Uh, air filter sits in there. It's actually in pretty good condition, but I'll replace it anyways. Now, after you have changed the filter, uh, make sure that uh, you reassemble the bike. Uh, make sure that you put in all the screws. Uh, there are different screws um, and uh, reassemble the bike. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, happy riding.